All right. Hey, everybody. How are you tonight? I have Sandy with us tonight. This is Sandy Castens, and I'm Joy Lenz. So um, I just wanted to invite Sandy on tonight. She has just completed the course, my online nutrition course. And we started, I believe it was in September, right, Sandy? Correct. Right. Yep. September, yep. October, yep. November. Yep. And um, so, yeah, I wanted her to share her story tonight a little bit and tell us um, more about herself. So my first question, Sandy, is what led you to want to go plant-based? Well, I'm always struggling with several different kinds of health issues and um, one was blood pressure. I take medication for it and it's under control, but I'd like to get off the medication. I have MS and I have struggles with that. And I know there's no cure right now, but I know maybe I can have more strength and um, strengthen my immune system, which has kind of gone sour because of the MS and also to lose a little bit of weight. <coughs> Excuse me. Plus the doctor's well, the last few years especially have encouraged me to think about eating plant-based. And I never thought I could, but I listened to you. I listened to my daughter who has is doing plant-based often. Um, I listened to your introduction meeting and I thought, hmm, I don't know. It gave me a lot to think about. And then I thought losing weight, feeling better, um, having more energy getting rid of meds maybe, yep, I can give it a try. And so that's what made me want to do it. Yay, awesome, awesome. Okay, and then, so what would, what would you say you were a little bit hesitant about though, Sandy? First of all, I thought I was too old. <laughs> and according to the people in my Zoom group, yes, I was the oldest one, <laughs> 73, so, but, Another confession that I made at the first Zoom meeting was I've never eaten beans in my life. And everybody kind of looked at, I mean, I could tell they thought she must be exaggerating. But then after uh, the first meeting and we came to the second meeting, I was so excited because they told everybody I had eaten four beans, four black beans. And everybody was happy and I kept reporting, but now I don't do that anymore. Now I just eat black beans. So that's good. Um, the there are so many different recipes and good recipes with black beans that I don't even think about it anymore. In fact, I did go to a restaurant once and was just ordering lettuce and things and um, they said beans and I said, oh no. And then I said, wait a minute, I'm eating beans now. And so, yeah, I ordered it. As wow, as I like it. yeah. My, ta my tastes have changed and I appreciate the healthy and good taste of healthy foods. Another thing that concerned me was how would I know if I was getting enough to eat? And Joy assured me right away, you'll know because you'll be full. And that's kind of the way I handled it. I ate until I was full. Very rarely could I finish a portion that I made because that's just what my body was telling me. Plus drinking more waters and snacking on veggies, fruits and nuts. Now, part of my story is that after my husband passed away, I lived alone for 14 years. And during that time, I cooked because I love to cook. But then as the time passed, I thought, well, this really isn't so much fun to cook for one person. But now I'm living with my daughter and her husband. They built a new house and I have a little sweet at. And so I thought, oh, good, I'm going to have a chance to cook again. And I do. And I enjoy it. So that was good. Yeah. What works best for me is when I'm thinking about the week coming up, I try to plan my menus and write out the ingredients that I'm going to need. And then I try to do the cooking maybe in a day or two. And then I eat what I want of it fresh and the rest I put in the freezer. And then there's always something there. So that's good. And I don't this is for everyone. I don't feel deprived at all. <laughs> hey, good. good. Good news. Yep. Very good news. Um, so 
you did go through the course, like I mentioned at the very beginning, what were some of your favorite um, things or what would you say you liked about the course, the course, Sandy? Well, <laughs> I had to think about that a little bit because truthfully, it was such a joy to, well, joy to meet <laughs> Joy and the, my Zoom mates, I like to call them my Zoom mates. Um, Joy is a wonderful teacher. She's passionate about what she's teaching you and she really believes in it. And, and she makes it real for those of us who are taking the course. Plus there are so many tips on how to eat correctly and how to cook and what to cook and transitioning to the plant-based lifestyle. And another good thing was all the recipes and all of the um, access to different recipes from different websites and different books and everything. Um, Yay. Okay, and I just wanted to quick interrupt. Sorry, Sandy, but um, if anybody's yeah. watching right now, I want you to, you can ask questions to Sandy um, or to me um, and um, I'll have Sandy answer them right now. So just leave comments um, on the Facebook post here and um, Sandy's in the group. So if if we don't answer them right now, she can answer them maybe later too. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was just going to show you two good things. Joy's cookbook, which is really full of good recipes. <laughs> and it's not just that though. It's all the hints and everything. This binder is full and I've got it organized so I can go back and find what I'm looking for most of the time. Uh, Another thing I was worried about, but it turned out to be the one of the best things was the encouragement that I received from Joy and from my Zoom buddies. That was good. Yeah. Through posts, through Facebook messages, through pictures of food that people like. And sometimes Joy would have a contest. Um, our group was a lot of fun. We laughed a lot. We shared a lot. We laughed a lot. Uh, yeah. If you haven't started the course yet, because there are some people who haven't started the course yet, or has everybody here started? No, no, this, the course is going to be starting on January 11th. Okay. Yep. So, so you'll meet once a week with Joy on a Zoom meeting. But then before that, prior to that, Joy has videos for you to watch, just to kind of get your mind going so you know what you're going to be talking about and then you're able to discuss and talk about all of those things so um the best part i have to say is getting to know and enjoy spending time with the zoom buddies and the teacher yay it was a good group experience for myself it proved to me that you're never too old to try something new <laughs> and I really enjoyed learning about eating plant-based, but also about all of the nutrition and the science behind it all. It got me to thinking about a lot of things. Um, I just like to say to people, because people will ask me, now, well, what are you doing? Are you on a diet? And I say, no, it's not a diet. I don't call it a diet. I call it a lifestyle, a change in lifestyle plant-based. In fact, just today I was talking to someone and she said, you don't eat meat? And I said, no, not really. Well, I could never do that. I said, oh yes, you could. <laughs> so we had a little discussion, but I said, it's, it takes time because your body has to get used to the changes too. So now you, um, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, is she perfect all the time? No, I'm not. I wish I could be. My, I would say most of the time I'm eating 80 to 90% plant-based. And Joy, okay. you said that's okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> My goal is to get to 100%, but then I got to thinking, okay, so why am I struggling a bit right now? Thanksgiving, four grandchildren with birthdays, Christmas, and COVID. That's about enough to take care of it. But if I mess up, I'm back at it and remedy, remedying it the next day. So that's good. Yes. 
That's really admirable. Very admirable. Very good job. Um, okay, now Sandy, tell us some of the results that you've had now in the last few months. Would you share? I have lost weight and that's a good thing and I can notice it in my clothing. I've had several doctor's appointments and my numbers are all looking good. And nobody said, oh, let's drop this medication yet. But I think it will come to that. So okay. that's yeah. good. I have more energy. And then I didn't realize this until one of our last Zoom meetings. Um, I had a strange type of psoriasis that had started this summer. And I was using a really potent cream that the dermatologist had recommended and it was clearing it up. But if I didn't use it, it was right there again. And someone else in our group said that they had had psoriasis so bad. And once they started eating plant-based, it cleared up. And that's what happened to mine too. So that was really exciting. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I still can't, <laughs> I still say to my family when I sit down to eat, can you guys believe I'm eating this? <laughs> <laughs> And they all say, no, but even my grandkids are really encouraging. And should you be eating that? Should you not be eating that? So, and I just have to add to that. I know I've really been hard on beans here, but plant-based isn't just eating beans. There are so many different ways that you get your nutrition and everything. So that's yeah. good. Yes. Right. There is a lot. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, okay. Can you think of anything else, Sandy? That's a lot of great, um, great information from you. So I'm so excited for you and thank you for being part of that last group. I know they all enjoyed you too. Well, <laughs> we did laugh a lot. Um, I just want to say to anybody out there, if you're thinking about getting started or you have plans to get started, just to remem remember to be patient with yourself. It's not going to happen overnight. And it takes a while to get used to eating things you're not used to eating, but it's, it's really worth it. And for those of you who have been plant-based for a while, continue to post your pictures of the foods you're eating. That's also encouraging. So yeah. And I personally want to say thank you to Joy because she did an excellent job, a very good teacher. I'm an old teacher, but she's a good young teacher. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. You're, yeah, it was fun to have a teacher in the group. Yes, keep us on task. Yes, yes. <laughs> very good. All right, all right. I think that's it. Now, I'm not seeing any questions right now, Sandy, on the Facebook. Um, so yeah, but if you see some later, you can certainly chime in and answer them. Oh, two comments. Let me look here. Um, uh oh. So sorry, Sarah. I'm wondering if your body had any trouble adjusting to the plant-based diet. Did you have much digestive issues? And um, Carol is saying hi. Oh, and and just saying, did you tell them how you transitioned to eating beans? Um, Yes. Oh yeah, with the numbers, I think you kind of did, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, did you notice some digestive discomfort at the beginning, Sandy, or not too bad? Not too bad. Okay. I expected a lot worse, but no, it wasn't too bad. Okay. Okay. And yeah. the more you do it, the less trouble you have with the the digestive part. That's right. That's right. Yep. All right. Okay. So I think that's it there. I'm glad I quick saw those. Okay. Yeah. I definitely encourage um, uh, kind of transitioning more slowly to help minimize that digestive discomfort. And uh, I would say you did really well on that. So, all right. All right. I think that's it, Sandy. So thank you so much for joining us tonight and for sharing all your wisdom. Oh, I don't know about the wisdom. Yay. But... <laughs> Yay. All right. Right. Yes, well, I'll look forward to keep seeing you on there and you post your pictures too. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> Have a All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks again. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye.